Hello there and welcome back to my channel Heaven Hero and this time I'm gonna give you a very little nice tips to enjoy seven nights too and how we can keep progressing and not stuck by paywall I must say these seven nights too can be played for free and if we want to spend we just need a little amount to Pen, I mean little dollar to spend and we can keep progressing everything but if you have spare money just do the top up it can help the server to grow <laughs> okay uh, there there is some ni nice tip I compiled a uh, short time ago and this is it the first one is level up your heroes okay uh, why we must level up our heroes so take a look at this we can have a lot of heroes and now we have 46 total of heroes and these heroes uh, there is some usable there is some unusable there is some important there is some bias there is some favorite heroes and anything but for me I must build I'm uh, oh, sorry not build I must level up every heroes to uh, to grow my combat power. So take a look at this. My combat power now is about four hundred thousand and twenty-four thousand three hundred and thirteen. Yeah, and my team combat power for story is about seven nine seventy-nine thousand and four hundred and forty and yeah i'm just spend about ten dollar in this game uh, the first pack is very very worth it yeah if you want to buy that it's very worth it that contain about uh 30 time gacha for hero 30 time gacha for equipment and 30 time gacha for pet that's very worth it okay why level up heroes is important that's it to grow your combat power this total combat power can give us a word like this, yeah. Legendary, legendary armor, heroes, yeah. Our first goal is always this Rachel, yeah. We can get Rachel for free, and that Rachel is very nice. Even on Korea, this Rachel is still very, very nice, yeah. So, if we are a free to play player, we just have to level up every heroes we have to maximize our combat power so if you have spare experience potion i give to another heroes that i'm not bringing i mean the everyday daily exploration i mean field exploration i'm i'm always bring tristan shen legend claire karin and Maybe some healer uh, to ex exchange for Karin and the other heroes, something like this Gilahan, Adele. How can they go to level 40? I'm giving them experience portion. Yeah. So it can progress up your TP or combat power and they are very very useful so we must buy every every potion in emporium we must go to dungeon experience we can get experience potion from quest and that's it okay and the second one is buy soulstone for your heroes every day so to buy soulstone for your heroes we can get the soulstone shard this this one soulstone shop you can get this soulstone start from dungeon soulstone dungeon yeah soulstone dungeon here this one soulstone query yeah you can get uh this is tier 6 i'm at tier 6 now and for tier 6 you can get green soulstone shard 30 rare soulstone in the blue and 20 legendary soulstone so you can buy one legendary soulstone shard every day and 30 is about uh three 
very rare so stone and 40 is about six 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 greater so stone i mean green yeah so uh but prioritize it for the heroes you build i mean for me i'm always by tristan and claire uh shane legend rudy karin i'm buying i'm buying them every day but uh for the green one something like gilehan and serena i'm not buying them i'm just getting them from gaita okay now the third way to keep progressing on your story you must build resistant heroes and there is some resistant heroes in this seven nights too can take a look at them the first one is adele this is for freezing resistant yeah we we must uh, build him for chapter two chapter two is uh boss about golem golem gelu golem yeah in normal the gelu golem if if he attack you you always freeze if you don't bring adele okay now the next one is gilhan yes this gilhan is brought in about three chapter the first chapter versus keita and quetza the third chapter versus pirate and in the cerberus i think cerberus yeah in the cerberus use gilhan too okay the next one is henry henry is used in fire yon boss or ebony knight yeah in chapter six the next one iron yeah this iron is very very good support you should buy uh build him but this is one of the resistant heroes too the iron provide poison resistance yeah this is for chapter 4 versus cast doom yeah or versus lizardria chapter 9 we can bring him to resist the poison but the iron himself is very very nice support even he is green you can take a look at this skill the first skill is recover health point and region the second uh, skill is recover health point the third nah the third and the fourth is very very nice combo for your dps Okay, the active this alchemy fortify increase the damage dealt by all allies. That is very very nice. So if we can have about level thirty, we can have level seven. This is dealt damage increase is about eighteen percent for five fifteen seconds. That's crazy. And the fourth skill. This fourth skill, this is very crazy too. Why the third skill is increase the damage deal to enemies by allies. The fourth skill deal damage decrease from enemies. Yeah, this is very very nice. For 20 seconds. Yeah, this is very very nice. I am. And the next resistant heroes is Demon Hunter Spot. We only need this Demon Hunter Scott for Pasma. Pasma in is on chapter eight, but I don't know the next chapter. But in this it, uh, in this current server global, we just need this Scott on Pasma. Yeah, the Pasma increase blood resistant, bleeding yeah, bleeding resistant from Pasma. Okay, that's it. That's for the resistant heroes, and the four nice tip is get a good gear from field exploration yeah from field exploration we can get a lot of uh, good equipment even the legendary equipment is nice yeah they have a uh, medical percent or chance to drop but it's nice and the boss here can give you about 100,000 gold and the progress here is very nice you can get about 25,000, 50,000, 100,000 and 100 ruby every progress fulfilled 
and from red is very very nice too yeah you can get uh, crafting crafting resources for legendary and the big one is this yeah the big one we can get is the tier 3 uh, party dungeon the tier 3 party dungeon can have a double reward yeah? additional reward two times a day and we must yeah we must go to this dungeon every day two times a day but there is oh okay the monday dungeon there is a monday dungeon <laughs> maybe next time maybe there is about monday dungeon Okay, now the next is enhance and transcend equipment. Okay, for enhance, we must choose what is right, what is wrong, or what is the good transcend for heroes or bad transcend for heroes. So, for example, for Tristan because he is defender and he need defend. So I'm just. Uh, enhancing his armor and head armor to increase his defense yeah and for transcend we can transcend tank for him and the armor because the, the transcend for armor is giving us block rate yeah? while transcending the helm can get us block efficiency and for dps for example this chain or uh, we can get attack speed and combo chance if we transcend the gloves so we need to transcend the gloves and we need to transcend maximum the weapon and if we can get legendary and we can transcend the legendary the legendary gloves for dps is a must we can get attack speed, combo chance, and deal damage. That's very, very crazy. Okay, for enhancing, enhancing blue is nice with blue stone. Yeah, but we must stop at plus seven. For plus seven, after plus seven, we must use the legendary equipment, ah, uh, legendary enhancement stone. So we can have about plus about 100 chance to level 20, uh, 12 and for 13 14 and 15 we can have maximum 45 percent chance to upgrade so it's very nice to upgrade blue equipment with legendary enhancement stone after plus heaven okay next to progress daily we yeah we must go to dungeon here gold fall to gold but it's not very high uh, gold acquired soul stone is a must elixir to upgrade our potential rune temple to upgrade our divinity experience portion this is experience run experience. so for potential we must choose what is important for our character so for example this uh, Tristan we choose to focus on defense and health point for Shen, I'm just focusing on attack. Player 2 for attack. Uh, and for this Rudy, I can say we we can build the mall because this is universal. He have a good skill, he have a good attack, but he have a good defense. Okay, now uh, this is some nice tips, team building guide. Yeah. Maybe it's not important, but let's, let's go for it. For me, I don't have a good tank. Maybe not. Ha don't ha I don't have Rudy. I don't have Evan. But I'm using Tristan here. But why I'm using Tristan? I'm using Tristan to this. Uh, this utility is very nice for tanker. I mean... If you play RBG and if you know what tanker do, they must have a town and they must defend support. I mean, 
this Tristan mechanic is very nice because if the enemy attacking our support, I mean our healer, he always defending this supporter, I mean the support character, and taunt the attacker. And this is nice utility. And the nice hero next. I mean, same like Tristan, but more stronger is Evan. Yeah, Evan has have two town. The first one is the ultimate. The second one is this defense support first. So there is just two uh, defender or tanker who have this utility defense support first. So we must we must bring the good tank which can defend our support and yeah if you want to <clears throat> build the ar uh, arena or story you should build everyone uh, but focus us focus on for hero first okay the next one is just example of combo team if you have them yeah the first one is yonhi serena and windigo okay why i mentioned them Okay, the first one let's go with Yunhe. if you have this Yunhe, her kill is all uh, area of effect yeah it's attack all enemies all enemies all enemies all enemies and all enemies but uh she isn't good if she is alone so we must bring another character to combo with her for example this windigo this Windigo have passive that increase the AOE skill damage of all allies for level 1 is about 13.5% so it's a good uh, support I mean support passive for Yunhe but uh, Windigo is not pure tanker so we must bring another tanker to town or anything to protect the support yeah and the next one is Serena. This Serena have a good uh, active uh, active buff for allies. Yeah, increase the AOE skill damage of all allies. This AOE skill damage for level eight it is about twenty three point five percent for fifteen seconds. So the third uh, the third party is the Serena, and you can have one more tank or maybe dps so it's a nice yeah it's a nice or maybe you can have another uh support like iron or maybe uh, this lin yeah this lin can increase attack of all allies okay the next one i can i can uh mention is legend coset yeah, Legend Ghost Set, Blue Lucky, Iron, and One Tank. Okay, for Legend Ghost Set here, ah, Legend Ghost Set have a good combo chance active buff. Yeah, and for support hit, we can have this Nestra Disciple Lucky. I mean, the rare one Lucky. The passive is increase the combo chance of all allies by 16.3% for level 8. And you can bring iron, yeah. You can bring iron to to support the attack for from uh, for Kasa, uh, for Koset Legend, yeah. I mean, where is iron? This one, yeah. Increase deal damage by all allies. This is very very nice for Koset too. Okay, and the next one is just one anchor. Okay, and the next one is just my wild imagination if you have Ming legendary here the passive here is very crazy for every two basic attacks 100 chance of decreasing target ultimate skill gauge yeah so for every two basic attack the enemy's ultimate skill is decreased by three percent and if you combo her with shy look at that <laughs> So you can see the point here. The the enemies will not getting their ultimate if struck by these two, Sai and Ming Legend. Okay, 
Okay, I think that's a simple nice tips to enjoy progressing. Uh, there is a paywall, a stuck paywall here because we can play this for free to play or for free if we know the mechanics for the boss, for the arena, for the story, for the dungeon, and I okay. Uh, we must keep learning together and. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and like the video and share to your friend. And thank you for watching my video and see you on the next stream or on my next video. Sorry. Bye bye.